Hello, my name is Davis Jones. I am in ninth grade and I am from Fremont High School. My poem is entitled Memories. Memories are like a dog up its leash. They might cling to you as if you have a tree in your hand, never letting go, or they might run away as if they have saw squirrels scurrying up a tree. They can come and go like the tranquility of a still lake before it rains. Memories may be valiant tales of heroics in the banquet of life or of caution, reminiscing of brave misfortunes and lessons learned, serving a reminder to all. Memories are mischievous, forcing you to forget what others remember vividly or gaslighting you into thinking things you would never dare imagine, poisoning what you once thought as a delicious fruit, flesh festered and deformed, the scent of disease swarming round it. Memories are mystifying, a vague fog of misinterpreted said-sos and lackluster information, forcing you to relive past mistakes and not allowing you to know the meanings, antagonizing you, yet barely out of grasp or guiding you through a convoluted maze, yet you go in circles. Memories, thoughts and illusions of the past and presence and hopes of the future, wandering and wondering, imagining and thinking, 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 thinking. Did you leave your door open, car unlocked? Did you get your keys, phone, or wallet? Worrying and worrying if your memories betray you and all you can do is wait for them to stop. Now shut your eyes and think. Remember and envision. Picture adolescence, times of ignorance and bliss, or of agony and grief, the so-called best years of your life, yet memories leave out the details, never the full story, just a sentence, a phrase, and the prolonged tome of existence. Now imagine last week, picture every day, every hour, every minute. Can you picture every second, every detail, every word said to you, or can you only remember a summary, maybe a part or two? Memories are special, an important part of who you are, no matter how varying they may be. The key to the past, to experiences, feelings waiting to be revisited, and the impacts that make you just as unique. Memories that will make you who you are, no matter how much you remember. Now for like the future, Two, 10, 12, 20 years in the future. Where will you be, who will you be? The essential question that everyone asks. But why ask about the future when we can hardly remember the past? A past we know little about and can only theorize one without a correct answer. With boundless knowledge, nothing is known. The answers hidden among the lies, memories contorting the facts. Even when you try, you fail. The truth never mentioned. Memories, the foreign entity, the keeper of knowledge, the one pulling the strings, we may never understand the past, the present, or comprehend the future, because alone memories rule over all. Thank you. Let's give it up for Fremont.